What is going on everybody and welcome to a quick bug fix video for Gary's Mod Game Mode Scripting. In this bug fix video we are going to be fixing the F4 menu so when one player goes and opens it up it doesn't open up for everybody like it currently does. So what we want to do here is within our init.lua file is we just want to get rid of every single piece of code in there as well as this util.add network string that's right above it. So go ahead get rid of that and now within this we want to go ahead and instead of doing all of that other stuff, we just want to go ahead and call a console command on the player that is being passed in. So this one right here. So POI colon con command. And the con command that we want to call is going to be called open underscore game underscore menu. And that is all that we need to do with the init.lua file. So next up we can go to the custom underscore menu.lua file. And what we want to do with this is no longer we, do we want to use this net.receive, so get rid of that line. Then we also want to get rid of this closing parenthesis down here at this end. And instead of that net.receive, what we want to use is just a function here. So function, we're going to call this function game menu. And we want to go ahead, keep most of this the same, except we want to get rid of this part here. So get rid of that. And then we also want to extend this if menu equal equals nil statement just a little bit here. So we want to go ahead and move this end statement right below the add buttons. And then what we want to do also is we want to go ahead and right at the end here we want to do gui.enable screen clicker to true. So what will happen whenever that player calls the console command it'll go ahead first of all check if the menu is equal to nil. If it is nil then it wants to go ahead and create that menu variable. And then finally, it'll go ahead and enable that screen clicker so the player will be able to click on buttons from within that menu. But now what we want to do here is we also want to have an else statement. So else, if that menu does not equal nil, so after this first run through of this code here, that menu will no longer equal nil. So we still want to go ahead and do stuff with that. So we're going to put this else statement here to do that. And within this else statement, we want to go ahead and check if menu colon is visible. So if that menu is currently visible, or if it's currently showing, then, let's go ahead and end there. Then what we want to do is we want to do menu colon set visible. And we want to set this to false, because we no longer want that menu to be visible. And then we also want to do gui.enable screen clicker. And we want to set this to false. Otherwise, so we'll do an else statement. Else, if the menu isn't visible, then we want to go ahead and not only set that menu to being visible, so menu colon set visible to true, but we also want to go ahead and, and enable this screen clicker. So gui.enable screen clicker. We want to set this to true. And last thing we need to do here is we need to go ahead and actually associate a console command with this open underscore game menu that we have here. So we'll do this just right at the bottom of this game menu function. So we want to do con command dot add the name of it, which is open underscore game underscore menu. And then the function that we want to associate with this con command, which is the one that we just created above, which is just game menu. So we'll just put that right there, game menu. So save that. Let's go ahead and go into game now and test it. And I'm just going to do a quick reload here. And once it is done reloading, if we press F4, you can see that it still works exactly the same. We can go into the player tab, we'll get all this information. The shop tab will go ahead and get all that information as well. So the only difference with it is that it will no longer, whenever someone presses F4, it will no longer go ahead and show it to everybody else that's on the server. So then just a quick bug fix for a fairly large bug but that right there will conclude this part. Thank you all so much for watching, and I hope to see you next time.